Yo, what's going on everyone? This is DJ Smirnoff back again with another video for Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. So in today's GTA video, I'm gonna be showing how to rank up really fast and get that triple RP and triple cash. So we're gonna be using the Team Deathmatch event, which is going on till Thursday. All you have to do is pull up the start menu, then go to Rockstar Created, go to Deathmatches, and then we go to Shotgun Wedding. From there, just start it up. Then we just set the game up to uh, 20 minutes for the time limit. Take the target score kills off and make sure you have owned and pick up weapons. You can also pull up your interaction menu, go to hide options, then jobs, then show custom jobs. And all you have to do is come to this location, which is located near Polito Bay. And just look for that, uh, let me see, pull up that star right there. That's how you can start the job. You can hit square on your map, or you can just come to this location. All right, so let's get into some of the camp spots. You can start by going on top of this building or you can run across the street where this house is. I love picking off people across the street from here. All you have to do is climb up this building and then you can scope people right near that church. I mean, it's so easy picking people off right there. Boom, just like that. And uh, you can also pick them off to the far left or right there in the middle. Uh, also, I just found this the other day. Shout out to Shadow Boss who showed me this. If you come all the way across the street and let's see, come all the way over here, there's a building right here where you can climb on top of this house and then just start scoping people. I mean, this, this place is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Once when I know I'm secure and nobody else has seen me on the map, I like to call Lester during a team deathmatch and then uh, reveal players. This way, um, it kind of keeps you off the map and you can see everyone else. You kind of have a better advantage. So all you have to do is click reveal players. Now to the far left of the map, there is a building over here past the, um, the train tracks. Uh, I wanted to quickly show that. I mean, this, this, this area is pretty awesome because you can have a better advantage. You're on top of a building. Hardly anybody can see you if you can scope them out on this side. All right, so on the left-hand side, there's actually a ladder right there so if you climb that up, you can come all the way straight down here near the railing and you can scope more people and have a better line of sight. I've gotten a lot of kills in, in this area. Now over to the left, you can also jump down here on this platform and you can climb right there and start scoping people right there as well. Now another great spot is right here on this water tower. All you have to do is climb this ladder all the way to the top. And just start scoping them off right here. I mean, look to your left. You can also catch people in the middle of the street all the way to the right. I mean, it's a great place. Now another uh, tower I should mention is the one across from me, that yellow one. It's pretty much the same concept. Just come to this yellow tower, climb all the way to the top, scope them off right there. You can also come down here, uh, scope them off to the right or left. And don't hesitate to call Lester and reveal players. I mean, that that's a great handy trick. Another place that I should show is right at the fire department or fire station. All you have to do is come to the right and walk up these stairs. You can start scoping people out right here. 
in this room. I mean, I've had a lot of kills up there. Uh, also, if you just climb the roof, boom, just pick them right off. Also, don't hesitate to come to the mountains and just, you know, have some fun with it. Just practice sniping, understand the map, start scoping people off left and right. I mean, it's so simple. Now, when you're in these shotgun wedding death matches, make sure you have at least 12 people and just communicate with your teammates. And I guarantee you're gonna have a lot of fun. Let's just take a look at how much RP. So we have 64,000 cash, but we made over 20,000 RP. Let's see how many kills I had in this match. 37 kills and eight deaths. Now, when each death match ends, don't forget to hit like or triangle on your uh, controller because it gives you a little bit of RP. So if this made you a better player on Shotgun Wedding Team Deathmatch, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks y'all. Peace.